The next question was posted by Sony. Uh, so in this question, uh, it is a pendulum strikes one time in three seconds and another pendulum B uh, strikes four times in seven seconds. If both the pendulum start striking at the same time, how many simultaneous strikes take place in a minute? What is the answer that you get for this? Okay, so what is, so Ariel has given me the answer, it is option one. Okay, let's solve it. Uh, what about others? Only Ariel was able to solve it. Others, are you getting, what is the answer that you're getting? Anyway, I'll start solving. Give me your answers if you have finished solving it. What is given here? A pendulum strikes one time in every, in, in three seconds. So basically, it is striking only once in every three seconds. Or I can say that every three seconds it is striking, right? So every three seconds the pendulum is striking. There are, there is a pendulum one, okay, which strikes in every three seconds, right? At every three second interval, basically it is striking. Because it is given, it strikes one time in three seconds. So the pendulum 1 is striking every 3 seconds, correct? Now, pendulum 2, right? The pendulum 2, what is happening? It strikes 4 times in 7 seconds or I can say that every 7 by 4th second it will strike. See here it is striking 1 times in every 3 seconds or every 3 by 1th second or every 3 seconds it is striking. Here, in 7 seconds, the pendulum is striking 4 times. Generally, pendulum will strike in equal intervals. Correct? Or I can say that in every 7 by 4th of a second, the pendulum will strike. So the first 7 by 4th of the second pendulum will strike. Then again 7 by 4, 7 by 4, 7 by 4. So when I add all this, what do I get? 28 by 4 or 7 seconds. So basically, in every 7 seconds, I am just writing this to make you understand what I, what I have written. Okay? So in every 7 seconds, in every 7 by 4th second, it will strike one. So like that 4 times it is striking. And that is in 7 seconds, 4 strikes are there, right? 4 strikes in 7 seconds. So, this is how it is done. So, now what is asked, if both the pendulums are striking at the same time, how many simultaneous strikes will take place in 1 minute? So, uh, generally for such questions, right, what should you do? You have to find out the LCM of this 3 and 7 by 4. That will give us next when they will both strike together. Okay. First they have, uh, they started together and this pendulum is striking in every 3 seconds. This pendulum is striking in every 7 by 4th second. So when will they strike next together? To find that out, you do LCM of 3 comma 7 by 4. So now 7 by 4 is a fraction. So you have to write this 3 as 3 divided by 1. So this is also a fraction. So now how do you find LCM of fraction? LCM of fractions is nothing but the LCM of the numerators divided by the HCF of the denominators. I hope all of you know this formula. So here, what is the LCM of the numerator? LCM of 3 comma 7 divided by HCF of 1 comma 4. What is LCM of 3 and 7? 21. HCF of 1 and 4 is 1. Or I can say that in every 21 seconds, these two pendulums will strike together. So if I take the next one minute, how many times will they strike together? In the 21st second, they will strike together. Then 21 plus 21 or in the 42nd second, 42 second, they will strike together. Then the next strike will be 42 plus 21, which is 63 seconds, but that is greater than a minute. So I needn't consider that. So how many times will they strike together? They will strike two times together. That is at the 21st second and the 42 second. So your answer here will be option one, two strikes. Correct answer will be option one, two.